G'day golfers and welcome to a hot and sunny day at Stonecutters Ridge Golf Club. I'm on the 14th hole here and I have a shot of around about 50 metres uphill to a sort of frontish pin. Not my favourite shot but Gary has asked us to show him how to play this shot because he doesn't like it either. And let's be honest, if we've left ourselves here then we, our course management has, we've made a mistake there somewhere. We've either hit too much off the tee and we've got too close to the green or we've chipped out somewhere, we've fluffed our second. I'd prefer to be a little bit further back. I'd prefer to have 70, 80 meters so that I can swing more fully, generate some more spin. Especially off of a tight lie, this is gonna be a little bit challenging. I've really gotta make sure I get crisp contact to get the spin that I want to achieve. So as I said, we've got 50 meters. I'm gonna choose my lob wedge. That's gonna give me the most amount of height and spin to this elevated green. What it does mean is that I have to be really precise with my contact. I see a lot of mis mistakes made by club golfers. They try to lift it up in the air, can quite often drop kick this shot, hit the ground first, or even worse, thin it. On the other side of the coin, I see a lot of golfers a bit worried about that strike. They play the ball back in the stance and try to hit down on it a lot and get too steep. And that doesn't give you much margin for error. What I like to do and what the top players are doing, you know, Jason Day and Steve Strick are the really quality pitchers from this distance. They're really shallow. They're, they're hitting down on it maybe two or three degrees, not much. Small divot, they're not trying to squeeze it. They're generating a lot of spin just because they're allowing the loft of the club to do the work. Getting crisp contact, that's the key. And if we want to be shallow, that means that we don't want to be hitting steeply into the shot and getting that shaft vertical. Big, big killer move, that one. We want the shaft more laid off. That helps us to be shallower through impact, more margin for error, and crisper contact, and more spin. You hear me talk about spin a lot, and this is a shot where I want to get maximum spin. Right, now I hit this my lob wedge. I hit it about 75 meters. This is a 50 meter shot uphill, playing 55. So we're talking about a 75% shot. So that means that my swing is going to be 75% in length. I still want to be aggressive. I want to generate that spin. So it's not a case of full swing and slowing down. That's not going to generate too much spin or control. It's a shorter swing, three-quarter swing to three-quarter swing follow-through. But aggressive, generating that spin. All right, let's have a go. I'm going to set up slightly open and, and cut it a little bit. That's going to, again, just add a little bit more height and spin and help me get that control. Ball position slightly forward, nice and shallow through impact. Yeah, a little bit of a divot, nice and shallow. It wasn't perfect, but because I was shallow, I got that you know, margin for error that I'm looking for. And I generated enough spin to get the ball to stop and finish up near the pin. I hope you liked this video. Please click the thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button and look out for our next video next week. Thanks for watching. Are you the best golfer you can be?